the beers, brawn, and no bull. The YouTube channel dedicated to getting your Friday night pump on and your Friday night drunk on. Today we're talking full body workout routines and the benefits of working your body out as a unit rather than just working out one muscle group a day, like biceps on one day, legs the next day, and so on. From a functional standpoint, it makes sense. When we move furniture around the house, we don't just bicep curl it up on the floor. Most people would bend their hips and knees, straighten their back, and get the whole body involved to distribute the load. But not only is it functional, it can also help you build more muscle more quickly. I'll explain how using the right full body exercises and optimal frequency can skyrocket you past your plateaus. So throughout this video, I'm going to share some clips of my last full body workout, as well as give you some pointers on what a good full body workout looks like and the benefits of programming that way. So without further ado, let's get to it. Tip number one, when you're doing a full body workout routine, you generally select full body compound movements at the beginning of a workout and then do isolation exercises towards the end of a workout. Compound movements would be any exercise that used multiple joints to perform the lift. An example would be a squat, which requires ankle, knee, and hip flexion all to perform the lift. Another example would be when you use your shoulders and your elbows in a bench press or in a pull up. In general, these exercises incorporate multiple muscle groups, so they encourage your body working together, and that helps those smaller stabilizing muscles also build up to increase your overall growth. exercises at the beginning of the workout is because they're very taxing and they require you to be fresh to get the most out of them. So some of the best compound movements for legs are any type of squat variation. So you have your back squat, front squat, Bulgarian split squat, also deadlift variations which can be your traditional sumo and Romanian. Also different lunge variations are great for the legs as well. Common upper body movements include bench press, overhead press, rows, which can all be done with a dumbbell or barbells as well as doing pull-ups or lateral pull-downs. So once you select two or three movements, I would finish the workout with isolation work. This is where you throw in your curls, your tricep extensions, shrugs, uh, rear delts, uh, lateral raises, calf raises. Basically, you just wanna get some extra volume in for any of those lagging body parts you might have. Tip number two, frequency. This is an easy one. Um, if you're new to doing full body, you may notice that your whole body, after you do your first workout, is gonna be sore for a day or two. For this reason, just do two or three full body workouts a week, and that's it. You might think you're losing gains by cutting down on the overall volume of exercise, but actually it's the opposite. In a traditional five day split, you hit every body part once per week. When you're doing full body, you'll hit everything two or three times a week. For many beginners, the increased frequency actually produces more results than blasting one body part a day. Alright, and here's my third tip. Focus on form and have fun. Because you'll be doing more complicated exercises, it's important not to load up the bar your first few weeks. Keep it light and get yourself comfortable with performing the exercise. If you haven't been doing compound exercises, your body will respond just from the novelty of doing something new. I know that loading up a barbell or doing a squat for the first time is scary, 
But trust me when I say that once you get good at doing a squat or a deadlift or a bench press, you'll start having way more fun than when you were doing all the rounds at all the different machines. And with that fun factor, you'll want to stick with working out in general for the long term and not just have a few weeks in January every year where you hit it, get bored, and then forget about it. That's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, or any suggestions for upcoming videos, leave a comment. Alright guys, go get that full body pump and we'll see you next time.